Welcome everyone to Baseball 101. I'm Dustin Hackney. And I'm Tyler. Today in this video, we will be showing you the basic fundamentals of how to warm up. So sit back, relax, and listen to us. We start off with this warm up. Flick of the wrist, because it's an easy warm up and gets you warmed up pretty quickly. Now what you do here is you put your glove right under your elbow and have your throwing arm at a 90 degree angle. You extend your arm and flick the wrist as you are actually throwing the ball. The next warm up is a small figure eight. If you're right-handed, you want to start with start with your left, and if you're left-handed, you want to start with your right. All right, look at look at his throw. He has a ball to the wall, arms fully extended, and the glove pointed at where he's throwing. Look at how he releases the ball. He follows through all the way with his throwing arm, and he also has the correct amount of bend at the waist, so he gets a lot more power out of his throw. Next, we have the walking figure eights. You guys remember just the standing figure eights? Well, just a step higher now. What it is, is that you are walking while figure eighting. But in this drill, if you are a righty, you will start with your left foot. If you're a lefty, you will start with your right foot. Pretty simple, huh? This is a drill that we like to call crisscross. What you do here is you cross your front foot over your back foot, then lift your leg straight up and follow through with a throw. We call this one double tap. Here, we practice on your balance point. Lift your leg like you're going to pitch it, but wait, don't throw it. Bring your leg back down and tap the floor once with your front foot. Bring your leg back up and hold. Take one hop, then throw. This is chair exercise number one. No, you do not get to sit down and relax during this drill. First, you put your back foot on the chair and make sure your back leg is straight. Then as you, you're making your throw, make your T and bend as you release the ball. Notice how his front foot is straight. That's exactly where the ball is going to go. Now it's time to introduce a special guest speaker. Now it's time for the chair exercise number two. I know you guys are excited for this one. This one we are practicing on your back leg. So start off like you're pitching the ball. You can either use the front side of the chair or the back side of the chair depending on how skilled you are. So pitch the ball and swing your leg over to get more power and try to avoid the chair. Alright, I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing our voices, but we only got one more, so stay with me. With a coach like Mr. Losher, everyone is going to learn how to be a pitcher. First off, you come set with your feet sh shoulder width apart. Now you find your balance point, and yes, you should be able to hold this all day without falling down. Make sure your leg is at a 90 degree angle. Then make your tee with your right and left arm. This gets you to know where you're about to throw the ball. Then you throw, but you're not done just yet. Notice how after I pitch the ball, I am in a fielder stance, ready to stop anything that comes back at me. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Dustin. And this is Tyler. Signing off. Thank you. Make sure to go subscribe at odcspress.org.